generations of Latinos have become legends in the boxing ring. Julio Cesar Chavez, Roberto Duran, and Oscar De La Hoya. But now, many young Latino fighters are looking to make their mark in a different fight game, the sport of mixed martial arts. One amateur takes it along to see just how tough it can be to make it in the MMA. It's fight night at Glendale's Beyond the Stars Auditorium. Around the mixed martial arts octagon, the excitement builds. But behind the scenes, amateur fighters like Christian Garcia try to stay focused, awaiting their turn in the ring. There's a lot at stake for Christian. This could be his last fight as an amateur before making the leap to the professional ranks. Months of training and a lifetime of dreams have led to this moment. We grew up in uh, Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. So when was the first time that you decided you wanted to do this MMA? Uh, well, I decided I wanted to be a boxer when I was, oh, okay. when I was a little kid. I, it was mainly my dad who got me into it. He did a little bit of training. I kind of I always picture fighting as like, you know, you, you stand up for yourself and, you know, you kind of take on the, the, the bully or the, the bigger guy. My dad goes out to the fights. You know, he, he's a big supporter. He really enjoys you know, watching fights. Yeah. My mom is the one who's you know, against it. She would you know, much rather have me doing something else. Pues lucho con, con ella porque ella es la que definitivamente se le hace muy duro. Nos sorprendió realmente porque no esperábamos que, que le gustara eso porque él era muy serio, muy tímido. Ya cuando empezamos a ver que llegaba del high school con amigos y siempre entrenaba y entrenaba, dijimos, oh, este, este ya, ya vimos que se está enfocando muy en serio en, en este deporte. I would bring friends over from high school and we just uh, put gloves on and go at it. I would film uh, me sparring with somebody, and I would just watch it over and over again. And I would study all my mistakes, then so that the next time I, I did it, you know, I would, I would fix everything. One of the fighters that I admired was Julio Cesar Chavez, just because he was from Mexico and you know he did such great things. But Christian's passion for boxing soon turned to the growing sport of mixed martial arts, known simply as MMA, and there was no looking back. I think when I started seeing MMA, that took all my attention. I saw the, all the different styles there were, the different ways there was to beat another person. You can use your hands, your elbows, your knees, your kicks. You can take someone to the ground. There's a thousand ways to make them give up on the ground without throwing a single punch. And I just became hugged. He knew if he wanted to make it in the sport, he needed to take his training to the next level. That's when he found the Gracie Barra Gym in Burbank, owned by pro MMA fighter and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specialist Alberto Crane. A lot of people say they want to be, they want to be mixed martial artists, but when it comes down to it, it's hard. You know, it's tough, and it's only uh, a few that even fight in you know, an amateur. And out of those few, only a few go pro. And out of those few pros, only a small, very very small percentage. Go to go on to like a big show, like a UFC, making money. The life of an amateur fighter is, you know, it's tough. You know, it's it's hard. It's not easy to make time to be training and to really be at 100%. Because you know, there's a lot of responsibilities I, I still need to take care of. I've always had jobs where you know, I really have to go out there and you know, work hard. So uh, my dad has been doing construction for a lot of years, so I've been working with him. I feel like it kind of it kind of makes me tougher to, to be in that environment. The perfect world. Next. Three, four years. What would, you, what would you like to see happen? I definitely plan on making my professional debut this year. <laughs> and, you know, as, as, as long as I keep winning, hopefully get some title fights and you know, eventually land in the UFC. You know? So the whole plan works out where you get that big UFC title fight. You're in Vegas. The crowd's cheering. The end of the fight. Ref comes out. What do you want to hear? And the new champion, Christian Garcia. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> yeah. Right? But with only two weeks to go before the big fight, Christian concentrates on more immediate goals. They say you, you win your fight in, at the gym, not, not at the fight. So you want to make sure you train at 100%. And with that intensity of training, there could be unexpected turns. When a sparring session gets a bit too heated, Christian suffers a deep gash to his lip that could be a major setback. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> But after five stitches and a modified training plan, the fight was on as scheduled. It's good now, it's healed up. You know, I'm healthy now, which is the important part. I don't want to eat anything that's going to slow me down. Just put some clothes. A few well wishes, and it's off to the fight. But at the pre-fight weigh-in, 
Christian has one last hurdle to overcome. He's above his weight limit and has to find a way to burn off a couple pounds quickly. He finally makes weight, and Christian is ready. I've always aimed to be the best. I've always wanted to be at the top. I don't like settling for less. I don't want to just be someone who, who's fighting. I want to be someone who's been beating you know, all the top guys and was a champion. Ortiz tells Giovanna Lara his incredible story. Oh!